Hello, this is Mr. Stanerson. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the Notability app. To get started, click on Notability, and it will bring you to a welcome screen. I'm going to run you through a few of the tools at the top. The first tool you see is a T. This is a text tool. The one next to it is a pen tool. Then we have a highlighter, eraser. The scissors acts like a select tool or a lasso, and the um, finger is just a, a pointer tool. Um, next to that, you're going to see a microphone to record audio. The plus sign will let you add content like images from your camera roll. And then there's a wrench to adjust paper, and the stack of papers will let you adjust the order of pages and then add more pages as you go through it. So we're going to talk about all those things in our quick tutorial. I'd like you to take this welcome screen and scroll down a little bit. Notice it says that you can use two fingers um, or the pointer tool to scroll. I'm going to select um, a pen tool and I'm going to use two fingers. So notice as I'm using two fingers, nothing writes. But I do have the ability to free write and um, so I can circle this, things of that nature. I have the ability to type by selecting the T. The if I long press it, I can activate a text box and I can put any text in that move that around to any position on the page and I can also record audio and add pictures so if I click on the plus button here's where it will attach to my camera roll okay so I can attach images right from my camera roll and just simply drag and drop them right into Notability so I'm going to pull this home screen right down in there. Okay. All right. Um, the last thing we're going to talk about is how to use a few of the pen tools. Once you tap on the pen, it activates it. Long press it again. You're going to get a choice to change the width and also change the colors of your pen. Um, so I'm going to choose, in this case, I'm going to choose blue. And I'm going to write my name on the line. I'd like you to do that as well. So here we go. Scrolling down, I can er use an eraser tool, um, and so on and so forth. All right, so um, take a look at this welcome screen. It gives you a lot of information, uh, but I'm going to let you explore that on your own. The thing I wanted to show you at the top, if you take a look at the top right, you're going to see a stack of pages. When you tap on that, this gives you a list of all your pages in your document. You can slide them up, slide them down, reorder them, tap on them and add pages above and below. Great features for taking notes. You can also use a search function and search for things within the note. Like if I search for the word name, it's going to search and find on this page right here, it highlights the name. It, it finds it in that note. Um, by clicking out of this, I can just tap on the pages again and it brings me back to my notes. And at the very, once you're done with your note, at the very top left, there's a, a stack of books. This brings you back to your main Notability Library page. So when tapping on that, you're going to see how you can organize notes in different ways in your library. Um, you can click on the plus button at the top to create a subject. I highly recommend you create a subject for your classes like English um, 10G, for example. All right, and then once the subject is made, when you tap on the subject, tap on the blue um, pencil button at the top. This will now create a new note in that subject. You can change the title, but just by tapping on it, it gives you a title screen right here. And now you're off and running. Um, just a quick review, this is the library button. You can add subjects by clicking on the plus button and add notes within the subjects. If you wanted to move those around, you can do that um, just by clicking on the note itself. You can now drag it into different subject areas on your um, library screen. Uh, thank you and have a great day.